Welcome back everyone. A friend of mine donated me this plate he bought off wish.com and asked me to test it in a video. We've got a little lineup of calibers here. We're going to start off with a 22 long rifle. Then we're going to move on to a 22 Win Mag, 223 Remington, 762 by 39, and then 30 odd six. I'm going to tape this bad boy onto a watermelon. That's going to be our ballistic dummy for the day. The uh, watermelon is unfortunately a lot smaller than the plate, which I didn't really plan for when I bought it, but uh, we're going to roll with it and see how it goes. First gun up is going to be a Ruger 1022, chambered in 22 long rifle. And if this pokes through the plate, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Shooting. We got one hit right here, one hit right here. Doesn't look like anything passed through. Watermelon still in good shape. Next gun is going to be the Chiapa Little Badger, chambered in 22 Winchester Magnum. This is a fun little gun I picked up for like 200 bucks and a lot of people say it looks like that first gun you get in Fallout when you got to kill that giant mosquito. I'm uh, really hoping it doesn't poke through the plate, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised. This thing's probably made out of low-grade Chineseium. Oh, so there is some wiggle there. Let's give it one more. So nothing passed through on the plate yet, and it's a little tough to see. But we got a good bulge right here and another good bulge right here. The watermelon, it might have suffered some bruised ribs, but it is still okay. All right, next up on the list, we're gonna hit it with the Remington 700 SPS Varmint. It's chambered in 223 Remington. And I don't think the plate's gonna survive this one. It barely survived the 22 Win Meg. It says it's rated to handle this ammo. It says it can stop a M4 and an M16, but uh, let's see what happens. Close bolt. Thank you. Well, that was low. Oh no. I don't think it survived the second shot. We're gonna have to send this one to the ballistic experts in China on why this uh, happened, but we got one shot right here, another shot right here. Both of them passed through no problem. And the watermelon, not in great shape. He went from bruised ribs to completely exploded. Well, I think we should give wish.com a little chance at redemption here. I set the plate down at 250 yards and put the camera over there. We're going to take two shots at it and see if it can hold up at 250. One shot and it flipped over. Blew right out the back. No problem. Well, a little bit of a disappointing performance from the plate, but I do want to shoot it with the WK181C. This is an AR-180 chambered in 762 by 39 and it's shooting steel core Chinese surplus ammunition. So this should rip the plate up pretty good. Gonna give it five shots, see what it looks like after. Woo! Well, here she is now, a little bit beat up. Looks like everything passed through no problem. And it's uh, kind of a flat plate now, it doesn't really form to your chest anymore. Well, it couldn't hold up to 223 or 762 by 39, so there's not really much of a point to hit it with a 30-06. But there's two things I learned. Don't trust Chinese plates and bring more watermelons. Yeah, buy North American-made plates, unless you want like a good Frisbee or something. Then, uh, yeah, go to Wish. 